Hello and welcome to today's lesson on energy transfer diagrams. Today, we will understand how to visually represent energy flows and transformations using an energy transfer diagram. So far, we have discussed different types of energy, such as kinetic, potential and thermal energy. You have learned how energy can be stored and how it can be converted from one form to another via different pathways. Building on this foundation of understanding various types of energy, we can now introduce the concept of energy transfer diagrams. This will help us to visually map out and better understand how energy flows and transforms within different systems, advancing our broader comprehension of energy dynamics in physics. Energy transfer diagrams provide a visual representation of how energy flows and transforms within a system. They help us understand how energy is transferred and transformed in various processes by using boxes and arrows to illustrate different forms of energy and their conversions. Let's understand how energy transfer diagrams work with the example of a child sliding down a slide. Initially, the child is at the top of the slide, not yet moving. At this moment, the child has a certain amount of gravitational potential energy because of their height above the ground. As the child starts to slide down, gravity does mechanical work on the child, pulling them down the slide and increasing their speed. This mechanical work due to gravity causes the child to speed up, converting their gravitational potential energy into kinetic energy. However, as the child slides down, not all the gravitational potential energy converts into kinetic energy. Some of it is used to overcome friction between the child and the slide. This friction resists the child's motion and causes some of the energy to be converted into another form. This mechanical work against friction leads to the generation of heat, increasing the thermal energy of both the child and the slide. To summarize, initially, the child has only gravitational potential energy at the top of the slide. As they move down, gravitational potential energy is converted into kinetic energy through mechanical work done by gravity. Some energy is also used to overcome friction, warming up the slide and the child slightly. Let's now explore how energy transfer diagrams work using the example of a battery-powered electric fan. Initially, the fan is off and all the energy is stored as chemical energy within the battery. When the fan is switched on, the chemical energy in the battery is converted into electrical energy. The electrical energy then powers the motor inside the fan converting the electrical energy into kinetic energy as the fan blades begin to spin. Not all the electrical energy is used to turn the fan blades. Some of it is lost as thermal energy due to electrical resistance in the wires and the motor. Energy transfer diagrams are a powerful and visual way to represent the flow and transformation of energy in any given process, making the concept of energy transformations easier to grasp. They serve as an essential tool in physics to comprehend how energy is conserved, transferred and transformed in our everyday world. In today's lesson, we examined energy transfer diagrams and how they help us visualize the transfer and transformation of energy within a system. Mastering energy transfer diagrams allows us to better understand the flow of energy in various processes which will be crucial as we try to consolidate our understanding of energy.